Welcome everyone, I'm from Lake Country Manufacturing, here to talk to you about pads, yes, and other detailing stuff. So if you have any questions, any comments, please feel free to write them down and I'll get to them. Tonight we're talking about the Lake Country Original Series, which are flat CCS technology pads. Now the CCS technology, let me find a pad that we can see it well on the screen pad. The CCS are these little columns that are embedded into the foam. Uh, those columns, what they do for you is a number of things. First of all, they increase the user experience a lot better. And by user experience, I mean your pad is not going to stick to the surface like it's going to glide a lot easier and you're able to work the pad flat on the surface as opposed to keeping it on an angle so you can work flat. The uh, other advantage of the CCS keeps the surface cooler and uh, when you're applying polish to the surface you actually dab your, your little dabs of polish put them in the holes and when you put them in the holes what will happen is every time you press just a little bit more on the pad it's going to release polish giving you a better cut but also a cooling effect. Uh, so there we have it. Now the CCS or the, the flat foam comes in a variety of different pads. Uh, the Lake Country Original Series is comprised of the Cutback DA, the um, uh, Curved Edge Rotary, the Precision Edge Rotary, and the Double Sided Rotary Pads. So yes, there's a lot of rotary there, but the, or the, uh, sorry, the Cutback DA pads are uh, designed to work with any dual action machine. The rotaries, uh, the, I don't have all the examples here, but if you look in our catalog um, online, page seven forward, you'll get uh, a very good description of every pad and what they do. There's six foams in the uh, originals line, and it ver the aggressiveness of the foam actually varies with the um, style of cut that you're doing. So if you're using a DA, your, uh, your cut is yellow, orange, white, green, blue, and black. And that's your, your progression. When we switch it to a rotary, there's one little switch. Still have yellow and orange at the top of the list. Then we go green, white, black, or blue and black. So those are the, the progression for those. And when the rotary, when using a rotary versus a DA, that is what changes the aggressivity of the foam. Again, engineering is a wonderful science and uh, Lake Country, you know, it does all the tests to give you that chart. Now, nobody or not many people stock all six in their repertoire. It's what colors you like to use. And as I always say, there's no wrong way to detail. A lot of right ways, but there's no real wrong way. Uh, what works for you is what works for you. A pad that is my favorite might be your least favorite pad. And a pad that you love, well, I might not like. So, and that goes for everyone. Uh, the This is a precision rotary pad. Now, what makes this a precision rotary pad? We have the nice CCS foam. And this matches, so the Velcro matches our backing plates exactly. Easier to send and easier to keep on your pad and runs a lot smoother. The um, curved edge rotaries are a recessed pad. So it looks like a wool pad in a sense. Uh, if you look at your, a wool pad, it has a recess to it. And then the, the wool goes up over the edge of your backing plate. Again, made to by the centering of it. And if you're dealing with employees, it's a little safer pad to use uh, in a sense that they can't hit the edge of the pad up against something because there's a layer of foam between it and the surface they're working on. The other uh, advantage or difference, I'll say advantage, with the curved edge pads, the face is actually curved. So the face isn't flat like these, it actually has a curve to it. So again, very different user experience. Some people like them, some people don't. I do tend to like them. One of my favorite pads, though, if you're a rotary user, the double-sided Lake Country Original with CCS technology. 
Now this pad, if you're a rotary user, you have to try it. You owe it to yourself to try this pad. Uh, the, the advantage of this pad is simply it's always perfectly centered. You have two faces to work with. You've got a soft edge, so there's nothing there for it to damage or go anywhere. And it's just a super easy pad to control. And the thickness of it, uh, it moves a lot of air. It keeps your, your surface cool, keeps itself cool, works wonderfully. Uh, and again, the balance part of it just makes it that much nicer to use, that much easier to use. I'm going to have to take a little break for a few seconds. My uh, battery pack that I have plugged into my phone doesn't seem to be working. I'm getting a message on my phone that uh, I'm about to lose power. So let me uh, check my cords. I'll be right back. It's a wonderful thing when it works, but when it doesn't work, it's not always the way what we want. Ah, uh, and now I should have a battery functioning. So change the battery, we're good to go. Uh, Sorry about that. Yes, and uh, we have a link that was just put up, thank you, uh, showing the, the link to the CCS pads and everything on the site. Now, these uh, live presentations, like the one I'm doing now, please feel free to ask questions, not just about the pads, but anything general detailing related. I'm here to help, and that's one of the reasons we do these, is to help the detailing, uh, you know, benefit from we'll say my years of experience or decades of experience but uh, if it's a question i will and if i don't know the answer i'm not afraid to tell you so uh please you know if you have any questions go for it uh, the one of the uh, the pads i really like in the dcs line is this blue it's a wonderful finishing pad it has a little more bite than the black pad so it does actually have a bit of cut but it's a great pad uh, if you just want to do a light one step, you're not going for a heavy cut, you're, the car is already nice and you just want to do a nice one step uh, or just your final polish before applying a coating, before applying a wax, uh, the, uh, this will help you out. Uh, Adrian, the difference between an HDO pad and the CCS pads, the HDO is a flat foam. But the HDO, if you remember, and you can go back to a couple of weeks ago when I did a, an expose on the HDO pads, they have an interface. So the top half of the pad, or the, the Velcro, between the Velcro and the foam that you're actually using, is a hard interface. What that does is, when you're using the pad, it keeps the pad stiffer and keeping it, uh, getting your movement. So your whole back and forth movement of the DA is now captured and kept in the pad so you're not uh that isn't flexing as much uh the hdo which heavy duty orbital uh is there a timeline yeah okay, yeah uh for the uh udos polisher yes there is a timeline eventually uh unfortunately with everything that's happened with the covid 19 we don't have control over all our suppliers and not everything was in stock when we uh, started this uh, because it is sourced globally. The, um, the Udos is manufactured here in the USA. Well, I'm in Canada at the moment, but it's manufactured in the USA at the Lake Country facilities, but it is made from global parts. That means different countries all over the world. And when uh, we have a pandemic like we're having now, unfortunately, that's some things down. Uh, so Adrian, just to get back to your question. So the HDO pad is specifically engineered for use with a long stroke DA. The uh, Lake Country Originals will work with any dual action machine uh, quite nicely. Uh, and especially when you add in the CCS technology, it makes them even better. So flat pads are great. Uh, a lot of people love flat pads, but if you just try one CCS, so you can buy here, we'll take a look at this. So we can buy a flat pad, and up here I've got a. I'll just take this down. So we have the same pad in the CCS technology. Open it up here. So it's the same foam, same shape. The difference is the CCS. 
uh, when you've tried this versus this, about nine people will continue using a CCS instead of a flat pad. Now, anybody can make a flat pad. Lake Country Manufacturing can make the CCS. It's patented, and the machine that uh, they that Lake Country uses to make this was actually designed and made in-house. So it's a proprietary way of making pads, and this technology uh, has you know been one of the favorites at Lake Country for a long time. Any questions? Come on. Uh, anyways, so we have the CCS, we have flat, and if we're keeping in the orange theme, we have the double-sided rope. Okay, so what DA do I recommend? It's really up to you to try different machines out. Uh, some people love flex, some like rupees or rupees, sorry, and others are uh, enthused about some of the, the lesser known brands. Uh, Fest Tool makes a good one, uh, but if you're a beginner and you're trying to save your money, uh, the table is always a good choice. It's been around for a long time, and you know, it's taken care of, uh, and it works. Now, there's also Griot's Garage. They make a good. Uh, polishers as well. Uh, the budget rotary, if you've never used a rotary before and you just want to try one out, you can even get one from Harbor Freight. Uh, my personal favorite rotary, the Udos, behind that is the uh, the Flex rotary. The Flex uh, P14E uh, is a, a wonderful machine. Uh, very balanced, very smooth, so give it a try. Uh, we had another question here. One second. What's the point of the CCS bat? Well, there's three points to the CCS bat. Uh, the first point is, first of all, user experience. So when we're using a flat pad, we have all that's contacting the, the uh, paint, and it can make it a little skippier, a little grabby at times. The CCS keeps that from happening. It breaks up the surface tension. Uh, the other advantage of the CCS pad, it keeps the surface cooler. Cooler surface means better cut. And finally, these little columns or pockets allow you to put a bit of material in there and as you're polishing, press down a little bit and when you press down, you apply more polish to the surface. So it extends your polishing time. So those are the things. Uh, So you've got a Torque 15A and don't care for it much. Uh, you know, again, polishers are like cars. Some people like F-150s, some people like Silverados, some people like Rams. Uh, it comes down to personal preference. Uh, some people are dyed in the wool Rupes users. Others, they love Flex. Uh, there's also DeWalt, there's Milwaukee, there's all sorts of different brands out there. Find a few things that when you're looking for a polisher. First of all, service. Is there a service center close to you? Are parts available for that machine? Uh, of course, the, the Rupes, the Flex, the Milwaukee, the, the DeWalt and all that, yes, parts are available locally. But if you're looking at some of the other imported brands, you may want to check that out uh, to make sure that they have parts available. The other aspect of the machine is actually trying it out. Uh, some people will like the ergonomics of one machine over the next. So. If you have the opportunity to try it out, reach out to your local detailers and see if someone has the machine you're wanting to try or wanting to buy and ask them if you can try it out. Now, the Udos, when it comes to market, we're actually going to have a try before you buy a program, uh, which, meaning, which means you can try the machine for two weeks. If you like it, you keep it. If you don't like it, you send it back. Uh, we're that confident that the Udos 51E will change the way you polish vehicles uh, that that's one of the uh, one of the little programs that we've come up with to get it out there, get people to know it, and uh, to get people to try it. Because putting it in your hands versus seeing it in a catalog, seeing it on a video, two completely different things. And once you have it in your hand, you'll want to keep it. Uh, but for the other machines, as, as I said, find out. And also you can get opinions on many uh, Facebook groups and many uh, forums. 
as to whether uh, you know, the machine will work or not. The other thing you can do is take a training course. Many training courses feature a multitude of machines. I'll take Mike Phillips, for example, at uh, AutoGeek. When you go to the AutoGeek uh, Academy with Phillips, he has every machine that AutoGeek sells available for you to try. So that's another way of testing out machines and also improving your detailing skills by taking a class. Uh, and I know classes aren't running right now, I'm a, I teach detailing and I can tell you my classes aren't running at the moment, but uh, once the COVID pandemic is under control, we'll be able to be teaching again and uh, able to get different machines in, people different ha in different uh, people's hands. Uh, I know when I teach, I bring a, a variety of machines to get everybody to try the different machines. I always teach people how to use a rotary. I find that rotary use is a very important skill to have. Uh, and if you're afraid of the rotary, it's just uh, a block. Uh, once you get a rotary in your hand and you try it out, you'll see that they're actually not the machine that out to be. They're not the dangerous machine that's going to rip paint off your car within 30 seconds. Uh, so that's one of the things. And the Lake Country original line has a lot of different rotary pads. So we have the, uh, the rotary, like you see here. We have the curved edge rotary and my personal favorite, the double-sided pad. Now, the pad, like I said, if you're, if you're a rotary user and you haven't tried this pad, pick one up, give it a try. It's a very inexpensive investment. And if you've tried it, you may not go back to a backing plate again. Uh, and uh, do we have any, any questions? And again, they don't have to be pad related. They can be general detailing related as well. That's what I'm here here every Thursday night at this time, and uh, to help every to help out the detailing community, uh, to help everyone move forward and enjoy detailing even more. Uh, I've been detailing for almost 40 years now, and it's a passion of mine. Uh, it's something that I enjoy doing, and I'm always learning. That's the one nice thing about the detailing industry is it's evolving constantly. And in the last five years or so, it's, you know, that evolution is uh, becoming more and more a revolution in the sense that it's just growing dramatically and growing in a really nice direction. Uh, detailers are becoming more and more, or, sorry, professional detailers are becoming more and more business oriented. Uh, they're growing larger businesses. They're growing businesses that they can control when they decide to retire. Uh, and they're looking at things like that. So. Lake Country is there to help everybody out in having a line or having multiple lines of pads that fit your needs. Uh, and now with the Udos 51E, which is coming soon, we'll even have the machines, or the Lake Country Power Tools will have the machines. And you can check out lcpowertools.com. Uh, the website is up now and it has a lot of explanations on what the Udos 51E is, what it can do, for you, and the technology behind it. Now, the uh, Udos has a very uh, different pad line as well. So the pads are specifically for the machine because we have these pads that are perfect for the rotary. It doesn't work on a DA. We have some DA specific pads like the HDO that yes, they will work on a rotary, but they're not the best. So the pad line for the uh, Udos 51E was actually designed specifically for that machine so the pads can work both as a rotary and as a dual action machine. This will allow the user to have a much uh, smaller inventory of pads. One machine replaces five so there are great advantages there as well and uh, the other advantage of the Udos, well you need to try it. Uh, and at trade shows, Lake Country by the way our booth is scheduled for SEMA so SEMA as far as we know, is still a go. Uh, SEMA is taking deposits and registering booths. So that is a, a good sign that uh, we're looking towards the future and we're looking toward a, a positive future. Now at SEMA, we might be wearing masks. We might be cleaning our hands with Purell a lot, but uh, we will be there. Excuse me a moment. Dry throat. Uh, Questions, anyone?
Now, I don't want to cut this short because we are supposed to go till 7.30, uh, but I've said what is to be said about the uh, Lake Country Originals pads. Now, again, for those just joining us, uh, the Lake Country Original pads are the flat and CCS. And if you have your choice, or if I have my choice, between a flat pad and a CCS, I'll always pick the CCS pad. Uh, it's just a, a nicer user experience. Uh, it glides across the surface better, less surface tension, so it doesn't stick or uh, you know try to try to move you around when you should be controlling the machine. The choices in colors of cut. So yellow is the most aggressive. Orange is probably the most popular. Uh, and is a great one-step pad with a little added bite or a little added cut. Then we have the the white and or green, depending on which, uh, oh, lost my green pad, there we go. So we have white or green, which are next, depending if you're using it as a rotary or a DA, these switch on the aggressivity chart. So uh, look at the chart in the catalog and you'll be able to see which one is better suited. Uh, these are a, a finer polishing pad. Again, great one-step pads. Orange, if you want a little more aggression to your one-step. The white or green, they're just great all-around one-step pads. And a lot of cases, they can be a finishing pad as well. Then we have the blue and the black. Uh, the blue, this pad here, uh, is probably one of our best-selling uh, one step pads. This is that one step that really doesn't need any cut. You're just trying to refine the surface or after compounding, this is a great finishing pad. So one of my favorites as well, this blue, and of course with the CCS technology. Uh, then the black pad is an extremely fine pad. The black pad, uh, no, okay. Uh, so the black pad, the ultimate in fine finishing or jeweling. Does Lake Country have foam-backed wool pads? Yes, we do. And how does a cut compare to a microfiber? Personally, I think the microfiber, uh, and the it keeps the surface cooler compared to the microfiber. And the cooler the surface, the faster the cut. So yes, you will get a better cut. Now the ones that we have, uh, they. You know, the, there's the low lint wool, which is uh, a great one, and the purple foamed wool. The low lint wool, it's in the HDO line, I believe, and a few other lines, and uh, they just work. Yeah, they've been around for a while, and they're well known, uh, you know, to those who like that type of pad. I am, uh, let's say, backwards compared to some people. I cut with a DA and I finish with a rotary. And the uh, the wool pads, the foam backed wool pads on the DA are my favorite cutting pads uh, because they do cut, they're rapid and they nonetheless leave a nice surface. With a DA, uh, when you're cutting with a DA, you don't have to deal with holograms, you have to deal with micro mark. And then your next step, your polishing step, just about any of our finishing pads, so the blue, the black, uh, and even the green or white to some extent, depending on the color of vehicle you're working with, can give you that beautiful finish that you're looking for very easily, very quickly, because you're not having to work out holograms from the DA, or from the rotary, sorry. Now I finish with a rotary, which as I know is not normal in the industry, but it's the way I prefer to finish. And my favorite finishing pad, black double-sided uh, foam pad, that is a great finishing pad. Uh, the black CCS and the uh, Cutback DA, or the, sorry, the uh, Precision Rotary is a, a great finishing pad as well, uh, and especially for that final jeweling pass. Now, if you're uh, right online this week, a number of people are having problems with black GM paint. It's a known in the industry, it's a constant that people are having issues with the black GM paint. That black GM paint my go-to solution for finishing it is a black pad on the rotary and just low speed keep it flat no need for pressure no need for moving quickly uh, a damp pad fresh out of the pad washer with a bit of polish on it and you'll have a wonderful result every time uh, and the rotary is such a the 
nice tool to use. Uh, Joel, there are a few uh, people that do carry it in Europe. Uh, we'll have to do some research and we'll uh, we'll get back to you on that. So check the uh, this thread a little later this week uh, and I'll try to find out who actually carries it in Europe for you. Uh, if you could actually indicate to me what country you're in, that would be even better. Uh, I can uh, target I can target the uh, distributor even better that way. Get you closer to where you are. And thanks for the question. Uh, any other questions? No? Come on, people. Uh, so next Thursday, we're, uh, we'll have another subject, as we always do. And uh, I'm sure that uh, it'll pop up on the screen here any second now. Uh, we have someone at the office that is diligently watching this, and thanks for watching, and uh, giving it, providing us with links uh, when they're necessary and uh, information on what's happening next week. So uh, next week, I'll be here Thursday, 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, as always. And Joel, you're in Europe. Uh, must be quite early in the morning for you, or late at night, depending on, uh, you're probably close to midnight or so there. So, uh, so even more thanks for watching because it's not a, you know, a standard hour for people to watch. Uh, you're in Finland. Okay. Uh, but you order from the UK. Uh, I believe we do have Finland that carries these pads. If not, I'll, uh, find you, uh, I'll find you a distributor for the, the, uh, the Lowland Wolf pads or the uh, the other pads that we've discussed uh, next week foam pads well that's what Lake Country specializes in uh, we have a lot of foam pads we have wool pads as well so uh, Lake Country manufacturing just in case you didn't know actually has two manufacturing plants one in Ohio and one in um, Oconomowoc Wisconsin which is the head office and they manufacture primarily wool pads at the Ohio plant and at the, they manufacture foam, wool, and the Udo. Once we get all the parts in, that is where the Udo's 51E will be manufactured in our head offices, in our headquarters at Oconomowoc, in Oconomowoc, Wisconsin. Uh, last time I was in Oconomowoc, it was, uh, yeah, <laughs> okay, Joel, yeah, 2.30 a.m., it's bedtime. Uh, so in Oconomowoc, the last time I was there in February of this year, it was rather cold, uh, minus 25, but uh, the reception there is always warm, great people there. Uh, the, the factory has been working through the COVID crisis, uh, so pads are still coming, products are still there. Uh, the only slowdown we had was, again, the Udo's 51E. Because of the globally sourced parts nature of the machine, uh, it hasn't allowed us to get all the parts in therefore we're not able to assemble the machines to send them out to you uh, but we'd like to you know that as we go uh, we're a few minutes away from ending the live broadcast again you can find these broadcasts on YouTube on the Lake Country Manufacturing or Lake Country MF you can also find them here on Facebook and uh, refer back to them if you have any questions add them we get notified and we'll answer those questions. And uh, we have one question here that wasn't answered today from Joel trying to find a distributor in Finland. So we'll or the UK. We'll find you someone there that does carry the uh, the foam backed wool pads for use on your DA to get you cutting a little better. So thanks for watching. If you're watching this at a later date, uh, okay, you're out fishing and watching this. Wow. Thank you. Uh, and, it, you know, hopefully you'll catch a nice fish. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. We'll be back next week talking about foam pads and any other general detailing questions you might have. Thanks a lot. Have a wonderful day.